could get the chance with my president. It wouldn't be for the photo ops, but for an honest chat between a child and a father. I would ask and unmask the countless questions eating deep in my heart for months. I would speak as the voice for millions, silenced under the weight of a broken economy. I would speak for those whom poverty has ravaged to the point where they hold firm onto hopelessness. Surely, Mr. President, even as a child, I can see the future we dream about slipping through our tiny fingers, crushed beneath rising costs, and the dignity we deserve drifts further away. Mr. President, I hope you hear the echoes of cries of millions of Nigerians yearning daily for good governance. But most importantly, I hope you hear the softer cries of my generation. The ones that echo through the streets. Imagine a girl who relies on rags because pads are beyond her reach. Or a boy who knows hunger more intimately than his ABCs. Mr. President, it seems education is no longer a right but a privilege. Daily, it slips away like sand through the fingers of struggling parents. School fees are climbing mountains, while incomes crawl through valleys. Perhaps you are unaware that as the school gates reopened, many couldn't return, not due to lack of will, but because poverty locked them out. The recent and bad governance protest is still fresh in our hearts. Alas, those who walk the streets to protest are now being walked through the corridors of jail. They carried placards with different inscriptions describing the pains we each felt. And each reminding us of the pain Nigerians bear. And bad governance, they chanted. But what they don't say loud enough is that we, the children, feel the sting even more. Fuel prices rise while food slips out of reach. What once was dinner is now a dream. Survival becomes the lesson of the day when education becomes a luxury, not a right. Mr. President, the best palliative is in cash in hand or a long line of committees. It's a future secured for the children that will count. Mr. President, hear our voice. Free education, make learning free. What an excellent independence gift that would be. Lift the children. Because when we lift the children, we lift the nation. The future of Nigeria rests in your hands today. For the future president, maybe somewhere in this crowd. Yet, there may be a dropout if you don't act now. If I had the chance to have an audience with Mr. President, this is what I would say. God bless all of you. I love you.